the Stens booth and they got a fancy automated chainsaw sharpener machine. So we're gonna go up and see what this thing is all about. Hey, how you doing? Good. Do you know who I am? I have no idea. I'm Carol Three Chains, a famous pet. See, what can I help you with? I see you got a fancy automated chainsaw sharpener machine. Yes, we do. It's the best there is. I what think I got doing? some chains that it can't sharpen. Let's just find out if we can sharpen them or not. I think we can. Can it sharpen this chain? Yeah, should be a problem. I'll just show you how it works. It clamps automatically from 43 gauge up to 80. And we can do 120 if we need to. We can do a chain way set up from 12 to 36. But we do have extensions to up to an 8 foot bar. Now why does it got two grinding heads on there? So we can do, it does a left and a right. The raker's all at the same pace. So this thing does sense lefts and rights and missing cutters. You can have four cutters in a row and it will move. So it's, it's got like a mind of its own. Pretty much. Has it ever that attacked looks, you? Uh, I can't say. No, it has not. Here's the different pitches from 4 to 3, 8 to 3, 25, and 4, 4 and skip chain. And it will so like I said, there's really so no chain. By, you when do. you mean skip chain, you mean... It skips the two? Yes. This cutter would not be here. They have another strap here and then a cutter. Could it sharpen these teeth? I'm going to say negative on that. There's no help for those. Just saying. <laughs> so, get ready to go here. Here's my up and down, how deep I want to go. Is that your depth gauge? Like no. a, that touch the depth? Yeah, how deep I want to go. This one over here tells me how long I want to go. Is I get it close. Breakers, depth gauge, holes, whatever else you I want call to call. Pole. Now, how much of that pole or raker depth gauge do you know to take off? How do you we know? We take, we have gauges. It comes with uh, depth gauges that tells you exactly how much to take off. You want it 20 thousandths below. You want it 20 thousandths below the corner of yes. this? Yes, sir. And as the tooth is sharpened back further and further, you need to take more and more off the depth gauge, yes, right? Sir. Yep. But it's always 20 thousandths lower. Yes, you and if you, right take, if you take too much off... It'll kick back. That's where you get the kickback. And that's where you get your teeth from. <laughs> oh, this guy's funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when you do that, if you take too much off the depth gauge, that's because the tooth is trying to grab too much of the wood at one time. Yes. Yep. And then that's where it'll either stall the chain or it'll cause it to kick back. Yes, sir. So 20,000 is all you want to take off of the top of that. You got a lot of buttons there. Yeah, not that bad. Pretty easy to operate real, when you get used to real it. Real simple. What we do is when we hit manual, we activate these switches. Okay. These are every switch on the machine. So the first thing we do is feed it. I'll change my pitch here. The next one's the grind tooth, which brings this up and down. The next one's for the depth gauge to set that up. If you need to, you can swivel the motor, address the wheel, and turn the motors on. Okay, so once I get everything closed, I'll hit auto, start. My hand goes here and here, telling how much to take off. I'll turn on the depth gauge, breaker, poles. Barely touch them because you don't have to take much off. Just enough to get a little spark. And then the newer models like this one does come with an air water mister to help cool the chain so you don't glue it. You turn that on. What happens is it blows the chain, blows air on it to help cool it. So, so if you've got two cutters that are on the same side, It'll know. Yes. Yes. You can have you can have a chain with all right cutters and it will stay on that side of the Every chain that it pushes, it always it knows which side it's on right or left. And then if it's missing a cutter, it will stop and tell you something's wrong. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like I said, it is the only one that senses left and right and missing cutters. And if you got too many missing teeth on one side, that that chain is just gonna cut like this. Yeah. And you need to throw it away. Roughly about, about five minutes.
it's getting stained up. And then, how does it know when to shut it off? It'll count down and stop. We put drive links. Take your drive links divide by two. That tells it how many cutters are on the chain. This is a skip chain that you divide by three, which I can't see very well. Divide by two. But uh, you would put your 72 driving chain and 36 cutters. So that is a couple cycles. And if you didn't know, it would just keep cycling yeah. around and around. Yeah. Then you so, can just go up there and shut it off. Anytime you can hear it when it's done, you'll know it's when it's done right. Just by the noise of the grinder. Yeah. And then you can just shut it off, take it out, put a new one in. Yep. Let it do its job. Now, uh, send a text message to your phone when it's done. We're not that high tech yet. But um, I wouldn't put it past Germany to come out with something. Mr. Franzen himself. He couldn't make it this year, but. Now, is there any spot on the machine to hang the chains that you're sharpening for the customer? Put it right next. Somebody put it right next so to So wherever you would set this machine up, you would probably maybe like put some pegboard or something behind yep. it. Set the chains right next to it. Pretty impressive. Now, what is a machine like this cost? Right now, we're selling for $22,995. So about $24,000. $23,000. So, so it comes with shipping, includes shipping, tax, and training. We come out and train you on the machine. So we just don't ship it to you and say, here you go, you guys play with it. We'll come out, set it up, install it, make sure, train all your people you want, make sure everybody's happy before we do it. That all we are selling a lot of these. We are averaging right now around between 45 and 50 customers a year. We've been really taking off here in the last two years. Where do you sell, what part of the country do you sell the most of them in? Pennsylvania. 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 So that's got, that's got like an odd Depth gauge on it. So yeah. a low sharp in that. Yes. Now what about this chain? Look at the depth gauge on this chain. A little wider than most. But it'll still sharpen yes. that? Yep. Let me show you how that works. Oh, let's see if we can stump them again. Yes. Oh wait, we didn't really stump them the first time. That one. All, right. All right, look at that. I think we got them this time. No bluing. It looks like it, like it was factory sharpened, and it'll it'll cut just like a new one. Yes. Take it outside. Try it on the chainsaws lot of, out there. Yeah, I know a lot of times when you get chainsaw chains sharpened, they don't last as long as a, as a new one. But look at the grind on that. That's, that's beautiful. somebody to sit there and man 
manually sharpen the change, they can just stick one in there, sharpen it, take it out, just keep, as long as you keep feeding it. So, if you're interested in this machine and you want more information on it, you can contact Chris here at Stens, and he'll give you all the details. I go see him first. Doesn't always work out exactly right, but most of the time it does. You're doing something wrong. I know. No, I, it was my fault. I'm just saying. Yeah. Who are you hiding from? Me? Yeah. Who am I hiding from? Right. It's got your bad work around. I can't see oh, that. Oh, I thought you were talking about looking for my wife. <laughs> but what the hell? How do you know that already? He's charged. Great show, man. Love All right. it. Nice just to meet you. Yeah. Franklin, Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you get it. I wish I'd have thought of it. Yeah, yeah, I learned a lot. I'll point and say there's a difference. Don't stop.